Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Welcome back to my research and statistics education channel. Today I'm gonna instruct you on meta regression, which is a very important topic and part of meta analysis. I have already presented one lecture on meta analysis, which has been appreciated by my viewers. So I am presenting the second lecture of our meta analysis series. So this is meta regression. So what is the meta regression? To understand this, you have to recall the basic regression concept. Regression analysis is the most common statistical method used in various disciplines like social sciences, management, business, statistics, and economics as well. A regression model tries to use the value of some variable called x to predict the value of another variable called y. So the values of y would be predicted on the basis of the values of x. So x values are fixed in repeated sampling. That is why the x variable is called non-stochastic variable, whereas y variable is called stochastic variable. The data for both the value of x and y are collected from individual persons or organizations in the survey research study. We can apply the same concept of regression analysis at study level to predict the values of variable y based on the fixed values of variable x. And this is called meta regression when we apply the same concept at study level. Recall my first lecture on meta analysis series conducting meta analysis in MedCalc and Stats Direct Software, publication by Sen Heterogeneity. This lecture was much appreciated by many of my reviewers, so that I decided to extend this uh, meta analysis lecture series. Therefore, today I am presenting on this meta regression analysis, which is in fact a part of meta analysis. Recall from my previous lecture on meta-analysis, the concept of heterogeneity that is uh, reflected by coherence Q. Q is the weighted sum of squares on the standardized scale. It is reported with a p-value, with low p-values indicating presence of heterogeneity in the sample. I square is the percentage of observed total variation across studies that is due to real heterogeneity and here is the formula to calculate i square i square is equal to q minus degree of freedom over q into 100 percent so here is a sample test of heterogeneity q is uh, 6.87 uh, to 1 degree of freedom is equal to 4 significance level p is equal to 0.1428 i square which is a measure of inconsistency or heterogeneity is 41.79% and the confidence interval for i square is from 0 to 78.57. So why we need to use the meta regression? If your results of meta analysis indicate a high level of heterogeneity, that is you get a low p-value of coherence q and high i square, then you have to and you are recommended to conduct meta regression. There are two types of meta regression. One is simple meta regression, and second is multiple meta regression. In the simple meta regression, you can see that the equation is approximately equal to the basic OLS regression, that is, y is equal to beta naught plus beta one x and some error. But in the meta regression, you can see the equation that theta hat is equal to theta plus beta x plus epsilon plus zeta. So here you can see that uh, in the matter regression equation, the important uh, components are the epsilon and zeta. The epsilon is the sampling error. The effect size of the study deviates from its true effect is called sampling error, whereas the zeta denotes between study heterogeneity exists in our data, which is captured by the heterogeneity variance tau square. 
This is very important to remember. Whereas in multiple meta regression, you can use more than one dependent variable. In this equation, you can see that theta hat is equal to theta plus beta 1 x1 plus beta n xn plus epsilon plus zeta. Here you can see that you can use multiple independent variables x1, x2, x3 and so on. Here is an important aspect of multiple meta regression analysis that you can test the interaction among variables. You can see the equation theta hat is equal to theta plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x1 into x2 plus epsilon plus zeta. Here you beta 3 is the parameter for the interaction between x1 and x2. So it's very important to know that you can also test the interactions among variables in the multiple meta regression analysis. So what is the meta regression model? In this equation you can see that uh, theta plus beta are the invariable components in the regression equation whereas x plus epsilon plus zeta are the variable components of the regression equation. The regression equation consists of the fixed part and the variable side. Therefore, this regression equation model would be called mixed effect model. So, all the meta regression models are mixed effect models. How you will calculate the model fit? Just like you use R square in the traditional OLS regression model, but in meta regression analysis, you will use the R square but it's not exactly similar to the R square used in OLS regression modeling. So here R square is equal to 1 minus tau square unexplained divided by tau square total. Whereas R square is the percentage of variation explained by the model, tau square is equal to residual unexplained oblique total heterogeneity variance. In the meta regression analysis, you can use two types of predictors. You can use categorical predictors and continuous predictors. Here in the equation for categorical predictors, you can see that uh, theta plus beta d plus epsilon plus zeta. In this equation, d reflects categorical predictors. It means d is a variable having two, three or more values. In the continuous predictor equation, you can see that theta plus beta x1 plus epsilon plus zeta in this equation acts as the continuous variable. So keep in mind that in meta regression analysis, you can use categorical and continuous both types of variables as your independent variables. The next question is what estimation technique you will use in meta regression analysis. In traditional regression analysis, we used OLS means ordinary least square for estimation of parameters but in the meta regression analysis we will use weighted least squares WLS for the estimation of parameters because WLS makes sure that studies with a smaller standard error are given a higher weightage. That's all from my side for today. Thank you very much for attending this lecture. Hopefully in my next meta analysis uh, lecture I will tell you how to conduct the meta regression on the data by using a very simple easy to use and comprehensive software so that you can easily conduct meta regression for your meta analytical studies thank you very much for attending me today okay dr uh, alan van jacob are you prepared to move forward yes i can Okay, the, the, Dr. Lon Ben Jacobs, he actually took us up on the offer to publish with the International Journal of Management, Economics, and Social Sciences. This is one of the things that we are prepared to do as a group to help you get published in a peer reviewed journal. So, uh, Dr. Jacob, before you move forward with that, I'd like you to discuss a little bit about your experience and then go right into your presentation. Yes, sure. Gladly. So, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm in the West Coast, so it depends when you are, where you are in the globe. Uh, I finished my uh, DBA early this year, and 
toward the end of the of the um, the dissertation approval and discussion I try to to publish in uh, several uh, um, magazine and and I didn't succeed. Uh, I connected with uh, with Dr. Rivers and the and the society and I. Uh, shared my my passion in publishing my uh, my topic, which was similar to what I will uh, discuss now in the presentation. And uh, Dr. Rivers he escorted me uh, and uh, allowed me to to publish the, the article. It was a process of uh, three to four months that it took a lot of back and forth. And uh, I learned that it's I, I cannot use the same dissertation. I would need to put my inner voice, my academic uh, uh, background and study, and I would need to, to turn it into something a bit different than what I, I thought it would be. And, and again, after three or four months, we were able, I was able to, to publish. It was published uh, mid-September. So and I'm very proud and honored to, to get this escort and the support from the, from the DBA Society team. So thank you.